Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi, guys, how are you? <clears throat> Today we will discuss about the European value standards. What are the standards uh, are there for European uh, welding standard for European year norms? We will check today. So this is a very important subject. So every people should see from the beginning to there will, there will be the two part because the, um, uh, there is a long videos will become that's why I make the separate one part one and part two. So you can see here the European holding standard the first page I hear. There is two types of standard European standard harmonized standard and the ISO standard. So you have to need to know harmonized standard and ISO standard. What is this? Not all EN standard are harmonized. Only those that are the considered to satisfy relevant ESR means uh, uh, European standard in product directive. Harmonized standard contain an appendix J. So harmonized standard. So there is an appendix J which defines which directives and ESRs the standards mean. For example, you can see EN ISO 15614 will be the harmonized, but other routes of the old procedure approval. Mean this is the main procedure EN ISO 15614 will be harmonized but other route of the approval procedure like may not be such as ESN, EN ISO 15610, EN ISO 15611, EN ISO 15612 so this is not harmonized. So harmonized are the satisfy the relevant user in product directive that consider that is the main thing. And ISO standard there is a gentleman agreement that attempts to make an all EN standard into the ISO standard and vice versa but this does not work for all standards. So, so means like same here, same there code and standard. You have to follow the EN standard to make an all EN standard. Gentleman agreement should be there ISO standard that attempt. You have to attempt them to make all EN standard into ISO standard. So, you have to make EN standard to ISO standard and vice versa and vice versa. So you have, you have to understand, but this does not, this does not work for all standard. So this ISO standard does not work for the all standard. This is the gentleman agreement that attempts to make, means ISO standard is attempt to make all in standard has to meet and the vice versa. So this is the two things, harmonized standard and the ISO standard. So these are the European standard. You have to apply, apply it, uh, I mean application standard, which you have to to apply which you can apply EN 13445 pressure vessels, EN 12952 water tube boilers, EN 12953 cell boilers, EN 13480 piping. So you can see here the BS standard also is there BS 5500 for pressure vessel, BS 1113 for water tube boilers, BS 2790 for cell boilers. And the piping you can see BS806, not BS2640 and 297971. So this is the application standard for this European standard. There is a chart is here you can understand easily specification and approval of welding procedure. <coughs> Which specification and you need to apply for the uh, you need to approval for the welding procedure. So which ISO we have to follow? which EN ISO you have to follow. You see here, details of the standard, details of the specification approval of the welding procedure. You have to WPS for arc welding, EN ISO 156091, gas welding, EN ISO 156092, electron beam welding, EN ISO 156093, laser beam welding, EN ISO 156094, resistor welding, EN ISO 156095, so this is the WPS you have to follow, you have to make, you have to make the welding procedure, then you have to follow the arc welding, gas welding, the different ENISO. Approved consumable for which ISO standard you have to follow the for approved consumable, ENISO 15610. Previous welding experience which we have or not, so you have to follow particular welder, we have the previous welding experience, so which ISO you have to follow, ISO 15611. Standard procedure, which are the what are the standard and procedure? Then you have to follow for this particular WPS EN ISO 15612. This is the all this ISO standard 
for particular what do you have to follow pre production state test there is a somewhere client record the pre production test is requirement so which iso you have to follow iso 15613 then welding procedure steps for arc welding gas welding electron and laser beam welding resistance welding so every welding have their different requirement and different iso this is a very important uh, chart you have to follow particular for european standard if you follow the european standard specification and approval of welding procedure the same subject is here just you have to and uh, just a clarification we have to given here introduction to the specification and approval welding procedure this is the code it was before en2 double eight part one will become en iso 15607 material grouping for both procedure and older approval whatever uh, it is here iso 1560 this standard has no current en equivalent so this is iso 156068 cri so there is no current en equivalent there is no content of a wps en what are the content in the wps we have to follow en 288 part 2 but it is now en iso 15609 part 1 for r part 2 for gas holding holding procedure test which we have to follow en 288 part 3 will become iso 15614 part 1 so you have to follow now en iso 15614 part 1 still and nickel alloys and en 288 part 4 will become en iso 15614 part 2 aluminium in tap its alloys so 15614 part 1 for steel and nickel alloys and the 15614 part 2 for the aluminium and its alloys so this is your you have to know this one the which code is already now is become this 15607 and all these things other routes for procedure approval such as previous experience that to consumable and unlikely to become harmonized to use with the PED. Now specification and approval for the welding procedure you have to go mechanical testing then what mechanical testing which ISO you have to follow EN ISO 156141 add of the same mechanical test so you have to follow the EN ISO 156141 except that bentist minimum format angle has been increased from 120 to 180 degree and fillet will require a minimum of four macros so 156141 add of the same mechanical test en 2883 means en 2883 and the en iso 156141 but there is only difference en 2833 is there Minimum formant angle has been increased. That is 120 to 180 degrees there in ISO 156141. And the fillet oil is a minimum four macros in requirement in mechanical testing. When impact testing is required, the minimum thickness has been reduced from the 12 mm to 6 mm. So impact testing you have to record the minimum thickness you need to for impact testing for 12 mm to 6 mm. So you have to know this show. Hardness testing in ISO, this is for mechanical testing then hardness testing uh, this is one of the hardness testing is part of the mechanical testing then iso 156141 makes no distinction between multiples and single person so in hardness testing you cannot give any distinction between the multiples and the single person the maximum value of the material in group one and group two is the same as the stated in en2883 for a single runner all groups now have maximum hardness specified except if you go the uh, any WPS or any material specification maximum hardness is specified for the particular material except group 6 chromium molybdenum vanadium steel vanadium steel non heat treated condition hardness survey is not required so particular this material this group group 6 chromium molybdenum and vanadium steel non heat treated condition hardness survey is not required still in the group 1.1 strength of 275 newton per millimeter square or less stainless steel in group 8 nickel alloy in the group 41 40. so these are the group do you know it for hardness testing is the material grouping here is the chart is there for cr iso 15608 for material grouping 
Middle group, if you want, if you go for one, then e, uh, 1561 for one and EN2883. The basic difference you can understand here RD less than or equal to 460 Newton per meter square. Here RD less than or equal to 360 Newton per meter square. So 614 is added to EN2883. Is adopted from EN2883. But there is a difference is there. Uh, there is also some requirement is different. You see, the material group is different. So here is mentioned. You see, EN also adopts the same mechanical test. So EN 51614, what are the requirement? And EN2883, what are the requirement? Is the almost almost the not same, but if he adopts the all the requirement means if there is any test requirement, that same test requirement is the EN2883 also there. You can see here. TMCP 360 Newton per minute square greater than TMCP also Q plus T plus PhD still and send Q plus T plus PhD still. So all group have the different the all different group have the different requirement. It's a very important uh, grouping number wise the material requirement. Now this is the material grouping for CRISO 15608. Main groups are subdivided into subgroups based on ill strength of carbon steel in group 1 and group 1, 2 and 3. If you see based on ill strength of carbon steel, so the based on ill strength of carbon steel means here uh, 460 for Newton per millimeter square 1, 2 and 3 grouping. However, these subgroups are not considered for the metal grouping in ISO 165 The grouping is based on the same specified illustration this less than minimum main group. Based on alloy content for metal in all other groups, in ISO 15641 may 6141 may approve the steel in the same subgroup. So if you approve the EN ISO 15614 may approve the steel in the same subgroup. So we can approve the same subgroup and the lower subgroup in the main group depending on the suffix C and ISO 15641 on the table 3B or C. For example, group 8, subgroup 8.1 chromium 19%, subgroup 8.2 chromium less than greater than 90%, and subgroup 8.3 also it is 4, manganese 12. Manganese 4 to 12. A taste in one subgroup within the group 8 above all other still the same subgroup only. There is a taste in 3 is 4, 304 up to 316, 347, 321, but not for 301 and 310. Impact requirement do not affect the subgrouping approval range as they do not the ASME code. So impact requirement do not affect, it will not affect any subgrouping approval. It will not, they do not the ASME code. Is also a very important charge a range of qualification for steel groups and subgroups. Metal group one welded to one, two welded to two. So range of qualification one a, two a, two or one, and also two a welded to one. So this is for European standard how it is range of qualification for steel groups and subgroups. Government think governing thickness for approval range the controller thickness the controlling thickness that determine the approval range in to double eight three is dependent on the joint type joint type so approval range of in to double eight three what are the de depend on the joint type for example the controlling thickness is that of the thicker part for a branch oil it's the thickness of the containing of the joint preparation so controlling thickness is that the thicker part so there is a thickness of uh, of the thicker part for a branch oil, its thickness containing the joint preparation. However, in ISO 1561, for both thickness and the joint are given independent approval range. So, if you go the ISO, that is different thickness and the ISO 1 both thickness and in the joint are given independent approval is there. The thickness range also applies to the deposit thickness of the multiple process oil. It is reasonable to consider a single run deposit in the multiple process oil. To be a multiple done world in the determining in the individual approval then not the different plate thickness approval in for pillar world. Now bar and branch weld thickness and the weld deposit oil deposit. So if you test this thickness and the also deposit thickness for multiple process well less than and equal to 3 mm. So single done 
it will be 0.72 to 1.3 is the deposition you can understand if the multiple run then 0.72 to t you can it is the applicable range if you go the en2883 it is for single run 0 0.82 to 1.1 t and the multiple run is the t2 to t so this is the 3 to 12 mm different different uh, for is 156141 and the en2883 different equipment is there for single run and the multiple run If you go the this is for the bar 12 and the bar and the branch wall thickness. If you go the fillet wall thickness and the throat thickness and the plate thickness, throat thickness. If you the test for ISO 156741, test piece uh, T less than or equal to 3 mm, then single or multiple run 0.72 to 2 T plate thickness and the throat thickness. If you go 0.75 A to 1.5 A and multiple run, there is no restriction. So same here, T 3 mm to 20 mm. 0.5 to 1.22 for single run and multiple run plate thickness and throat thickness is 0.75 to 1.5 a and the multiple run is no restriction so same here t equal to 30 mm t equal to more than 30 mm then 2.5 mm throat thickness will be no old approval will no restriction If you see here the range of approval on diameter, if you see the IS156141 and EN2083, if 25 mm OD less than, then approval is 0.5D to 2D and the TSP is for 5 or TU 168.3 mm OD less than. Okay, and approval is 0.5 to 2D. If it is more than 25 mm OD, the TSP is then uh, the approval is more than or less uh, more than or equal to 0 0.5 t and the tsp is 5 or t but more than or equal to 168.3 od and the approval is more than 0 0.5 t and uh, more than 0 0.5 t uh, more than or equal to 0 0.5 t and plates so this is the tsp uh, different uh, approval day test piece approval test piece approval for en1 is 156141 and in double eight three in two double eight three now range of approval for holding position the range of approval in as one five six one four is exactly the same as the en two double eight three so approval of holding position is the iso one five six one four one is exactly the same is en two double eight three if there is no impact on a hardness survey requirement one position cover all position if there is a no impact or hardness requirement as per the specification, as per the work uh, WPS, so then you have to one position cover all position. If impact is required, the holding procedure approve other position require the same or less heat input. One position you can approve for all position, then the same or requiring the same heat input you have to record for the for two cases. If a hardness survey is required, the old procedure approve other position. Hardness survey is required. The old procedure approved for the position is the same or higher heat input. Same or higher. Same or less. It should be same or less. And if it's the hardness, the same or higher. If a test includes both high and low heat input composition, then all intermediate heat input position are approved and ready for ISO 15614 figure 6. Note. Even ISO 15641 requires heat input to be measured. When impact is required, the heat input is limited to plus 25 percent of the test value and when hardness test is required the heat input limit to minus 25 percent of the test value this is very important you have to remember this one for the when you have to doing the welding procedure approval range approval for the welding position the approval range of the joint type en 16015641 and e2883 are essentially the same for example the approval ring the joint type joint type for for two areas 15614 and the en2 average both are same for example bar 12 approved fillet wells single sided wells approved back double sided and back gauge welded back wells approved t bar wells bar 12 in pipe approved branch connection with the angle between 60 to 90 degree back 12 approved double sided wells not this. A fillet well approved also a fillet well only but if mechanical property are important supplement with the bar 12 
shielding and backing gases ranges of range of approval restricted to the en439 gas symbol or restricted to the nominal composition used in the test if no en439 code exist a weld made without a backing gas also approved welding with a backing gas so this is the condition a weld made without a backing gas also approved without also approved welding with a backing gas Now filler metal EN, what range of approval for filler metal? Filler metal cover the other material subject to equivalent mechanical property, same type of covering core flask, same nominal composition, same or lower hydrogen content. So filler material covers other material. In, uh, so uh, you have to cover for other material uh, also. Uh, then uh, EN ISO 15641, equivalent mechanical property should be there, same type of covering should be there, same mechanical composition means base metal and the filler metal it's comparing the same property should be there equivalent mechanical property same type of covering same nominal composition same or lower hydrogen lower hydrogen if impact there is an impact requirement then the filler metal cannot be changed for change from the brand used in the procedure test this does not apply to solidoid of the same designation of the nominal composition the size of the filler metal can be changed Providing the heat input requirement. If the heat input you have different requirement, then we can change the size of the filler metal. If required, are met. If required, if there is a particular requirement is there and that requirement are met, then you can change the size of the filler metal. Weld with the filler metal does not approve weld metal weld made without filler or vice versa. So if there is a weld with the filler metal, it not means it's not approved weld made with without filler. So with filler, it is cannot approve without filler or vice versa. So this is the specification and approval of welding procedure for ENIS 156141 and EN2883. So you have to check from the beginning again what I explained and if you have any question for this particular one, particular this ISO UN standard. This is totally new for this one. Uh, all those people are working for particularly in European standard. Then this is a very important uh, slide. You can check from the beginning. And if you have any question, then this is a part one. There is also part two is there. Then part two, I will show you a part two, uh, maybe within one or two days, I will upload here. So part one complete this one and part two will upload soon. So thanks a lot again for watching my video. Please share and subscribe my channel. Would get regular video. Good luck. Thanks.